How's it? Indian Cowboy, DocSports.com. Connect on Friday, June the 14th, as we get this video to you around this time. Have your free pick winner in just a second today. It's going to mean baseball. And uh, I think you'll like it between the Reds and the Brewers. As usual, I will have, uh, what is it, eight free plays for you today? I have uh, seven today. Seven free plays for you today. We had a great video yesterday. I uh, gave you five yesterday, including uh, we went 5-0. and oh. uh, Won the free play yesterday on... Um, on the Atlanta Indiana over, which is great. I gave you a lean on the Seattle Storm, which is a win. Um, you know, the Phillies Boston over, which was a win. Uh, a lean on the Cubs Tampa Bay under, which was a win. And a lean on Miami New York under, which was a win. So, I uh, can't get much better than 5 0. That's kind of nice. 2 0, 7 and 3, 9 and 4, 37 and 21 run, 54 and 30 over, almost over the last 90. So, we're hitting about 67, 68%, almost 70% for the last three months in free selections. Uh, probably one of the best kept secrets on the internet is probably us. <laughs> so, hello, I'm Indian Cowboy, and this is Doc Sports. The algorithms of Indian Cowboy have been around for 19 years. Doc Sports has been around for 53 years. I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics, and that's how these algorithms work. Welcome to my free daily podcast. Our best selections over at DocSports.com. Under Rune Shiva or Indian Cowboy, our next best selections are our free picks and leans, which is the daily video that you're watching right now. And, of course, if you can't get enough of me, we have a popular YouTube premium teaching channel for $20 a month. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 10 o'clock, where we hang out, where we teach you how to fish and how to do your own algorithms, and you get the first look on the next day's ball game, a 15-hour head start before anybody else, a massive advantage. You get 200, you get about, um, I'm doing eight games these days, I think that goes faster and it's probably better, uh, so, so eight games, time, you get 160 games all for just $20 a month. Probably one of the best deals on the internet is a recorded podcast that you you can re-listen to it in the next morning, and I give you a written summary each night of the podcast as well. Uh, so if you just want to look at the leans, you can the next morning too. It's a fantastic product. So jump on that. The link to YouTube Premium is in the comment section as well as the link to how to get to free $60 worth of premium selections. If you want even more content, be sure to check my Twitter. It has my our latest updates, hot takes on sports, popular consensus reports, and our latest videos are posted there. What do I need to tell you? Well, we have a seven-unit baseball selection today, which I'm excited about. We've already won two seven-unit baseball selections earlier this week. And uh, uh, we won our baseball selection yesterday on a very sharp selection on the White Sox under. Uh, White Sox under six and a half. Final score is two to one. And I had it predicted at three to two, so not bad. So seven-unit baseball game today at 7-10. Uh, three and oh run. We won three straight days in baseball. Um, again, yesterday is that White Sox under four unit Thursday winner, seven unit Wednesday winner on the Cubbies, and seven unit Tuesday winner on Kansas City, New York City, or Kansas City Yankees over nine and a half. So 17 and eight run in baseball for plus 3,700. NBA playoffs are plus 2,400 run. It's been a good playoff so far. Uh, we've lost the last couple though. So let's look to try to bounce back today. I do like the four unit selection a lot today. Uh, NHL, great NHL playoffs so far, plus uh, 4,100 in the NFL in the NHL playoffs, 20 and 9 run. Next game is on Saturday, three unit selection on Friday in soccer, 11 and 5 run uh, on the pitch for plus 1,500. We're very good in soccer so far. Uh, WNBA, we dropped, um, we had an eight unit winner on Tuesday, dropped yesterday as well, but uh, we, I like the selection with Chicago and Washington today. I do, I do believe we're going to win that. And MMA plus 5,200 on the MMA season. So that's about it. All right, let's get to your free play winner today. And I like the underdog today. Give me the Reds. Give me the uh, Cincinnati Reds. You can find them at plus 135. Uh, it's a pretty decent dog price. I don't normally give as many dogs here. Normally it's like totals and stuff. But I like the dog here at plus 135. Uh, Cincinnati won 4-2 to two yesterday. Milwaukee won 5-4. to four. So both these teams come off a win. Green and Peralta here. Green went six innings, seven hits, and six runs and lost to the Brewers the last time out. So he has revenge. He also comes off back-to-back -back losses as well. And, I mean, this guy beat the Dodgers and Orioles earlier this year, so he's got good stuff. And uh, this is the worst two-game stretch he's had all year, 12 innings, nine runs, and he's got a 3.61 ERA. I like the fact that you have – and Peralta, of course, is coming off back-to-back -back sketchy starts, including five walks, but he did win. So I know it sounds a little nuts here, but I like the fact the Reds have Green, who has revenge. Uh, he comes off back-to-back -back horrible starts. You combine that with Peralta coming off back-to-back -back wins, but it's been sketchy wins. And I think he has a letdown. Give me the Reds plus the 135, plus the 140 today in baseball. That's your free play. The leans, uh, Los Angeles, Minnesota, and the WNBA. I like the under there. Minnesota won 86-62 last time and crushed them. LA, can they bounce back? LA gave up 95 points to Seattle. I think they'll be motivated to play much better defense here. Minnesota is 9-3 and three right now. They just beat Vegas by 14 points. They're rolling. They're also, nine, as I told you, 9-3. and three. They shot 56% from three-point lane. I just don't think they duplicate that. Give me the under between LA and Minnesota in the WNBA. Yankees and Red Sox. I'll take the Red Sox plus the one and a half. Yankees lost 3-4 to four last game. 
Can the Yankees bounce back? And even, even if they can, it's a scary team to go against, I know, uh, in the Yankees who are 49-22. and 22. Boston has won back-to-back games coming in. Gill has a two ERA. He's been fantastic. I get that. Bayo did go five innings, four hits, and one run at some at one point. But he's coming off his worst two-game stretch as well. And I think the Red Sox have decent value with Bayo on the bounce back. I'll take him plus the one and a half. Phillies and Orioles, I'll take the over there. Phillies are off back-to-back uh, losses now, so I think that should motivate them. Um, Philly, you know, Baltimore rarely loses back-to-back games, and they come off a loss too. So I think both these teams will be juiced up and be ready to go and score some runs here today. Suarez and Bradish here. Suarez, I understand, has a 1.81 ERA. He went five innings, eight hits, and two runs against the Mets. Season high and hits for him. He did win, but uh, Bradish here went six innings, one hit, and no run against the Rays. He comes off his best start of the year. And I think, honestly, both these guys are pitching out of their minds. I think Bradish has a letdown. I think Suarez is starting to show some cracks here with the season high and hits last game. And uh, with both teams off of a loss, I like the over there. Cleveland and Toronto. Give me the Guardians here. Cleveland off of a 2-4 to four loss last game. Toronto's off of a loss, too. And uh, so both teams are off of a loss. I understand Allen has a five plus ERA, but I believe he's turning things around. He comes off four of five decent quality starts. Um, he went, you know, given the fact that you have a, a Cleveland pitcher, Gosman, who went nine innings, five hits, and no runs in his last game and 10 strikeouts, I think he has a huge letdown. I love going against pitchers who come off a complete game and that to a complete game shutout. Give me Allen who's pitching better. And I think uh, our friend uh, from Cleveland here, uh, I'm sorry, our friend from Tor- uh, Toronto here, Gosman, has a letdown. So I'm going to take Cleveland as the dog. Rays and Braves. Uh, I like the Rays plus the one and a half over my Atlanta Braves. Tampa Bay won three to two last game. Atlanta won six to three. They had lost five in a row prior to that. Littell and Sale here. You know, Littell has a good pitcher, back-to-back tough starts for him. Uh, he had to he had to face the Orioles in back-to-back starts, so don't blame him too much. You know, Sale has um, Sale is 35 years old, but he's still getting 10 strikeouts in some games, and he's been phenomenal. Tampa Bay has plenty of experience against Sale, obviously, from his time with the White Sox and the Red Sox, so they'll have pitch, they'll have hitters who know how he pitches. And um, I wouldn't be surprised at all here to see Lytell bounce back. And then you have uh, the Rays' experience against Sale. And, um, you know, wouldn't be surprised at all to see the Rays plus the one and a half do well. Oakland and Minnesota. I like Oakland plus the one and a half. Oakland has lost six in a row coming in. Minnesota has won back-to-back games. But they have issues winning three in a row, honestly. Minnesota does. Spence has lost back-to-back games coming in, but a 3.68 ERA. He has pitched well this year. Woods and Woods Richardson pitching today. Woods Richardson has pitched quite well with a 2.80 ERA this year. I like o- Oakland and Spence on the bounce back, and I don't trust Minnesota here, and therefore I will take Oakland plus the one and a half. That is your free play video today. Hope you enjoyed it. We went 5-0 and yesterday, which was great. If you want to support the channel, be sure to buy our my premium selections over at DocSports.com under Rune Shiva. Join our YouTube premium channel, which is a lot of fun. Uh, we come at you five nights a week. And be sure to give the video a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy, working hard for every single day. And uh, take care. Bye-bye.